I am JP Danko and this is a review of the Emotimo Spectrum for DIYPhotography.net. The Emotimo Spectrum ST4 is a four axis robotic motion control system. Starting with just the Spectrum, you have two axis robotic motion control with pan and tilt. Adding a slider adds a third axis, linear motion. Then add the Emotimo Focus FZ and you've got your fourth axis which can be used for robotic focus, zoom or aperture control on your lens. Instead of a slider, you could add a second FZ unit for both focus and zoom or focus and aperture control. The Focus FZ uses a standard 0.8 pitch gearing, but you'll also need gearing on your lens. If you're using a standard photography lens, you can use a proprietary add-on gear, or if you're using a cine lens, they've already got the gears built in. So what exactly can you do with four axis robotic motion control? Well, think about sophisticated time-lapse sequences with multiple silky smooth movements and even zoom or focus pulling during a time-lapse. Think about live action video with precise movement and focus control. For live action video, the Spectrum has a number of presets for live motion tracking. The unit moves as you control it in real time with the Sony PlayStation controller. There are modes for fast, normal, slow, and quiet motion. If you want to film a precise live action video movement, you can program all four axes of the Spectrum with up to five keyframes. This opens up a ton of creative freedom and allows for some very complex shots that would otherwise be impossible. And the best part is that the movements are totally repeatable. This is especially amazing for time-lapse photography because with up to a five-point move across four axes, you have so much more creative freedom to capture really, really complex time-lapse motion that you just couldn't do with any other equipment. Another really nice feature of the Spectrum is Gigapan mode, which allows you to capture very large multiple image panoramas, all with robotic motion control. I spent several mornings at Niagara Falls working with the Spectrum and Focus FZ, filming a series of live action and time-lapse video using both a Nikon DSLR and Sony mirrorless. One thing that I really noticed with the Spectrum, especially when you're trying to set up a four axis movement with multiple keyframes, is that there's a lot going on and you have to be very deliberate with your shots. The Spectrum is not for run and gun situations. It's much more suited for deliberate pre-planned shots where control and precision are more important than setup speed. With a DSLR, I found it a little tricky to visually confirm focus while using the Focus FZ, especially when I was using a heavy neutral density filter and I could barely make out the scene. To get the most out of the Spectrum and the Focus FZ, I think that you really have to use a camera that has focus peaking or an external monitor with focus peaking. Switching over to a Sony mirrorless, it was night and day. I could see exactly where the plane of focus was and make much more accurate focus refinements once I could see those with the focus peaking. In my opinion, the Emotimo Spectrum ST4 is the very best live action video and time-lapse robotic motion control system that there is on the market. There's nothing else out there that will give you this many options for robotic motion control. It's quick and accurate in live mode and surprisingly easy to program elaborate multi-point movements. If you're an experienced filmmaker or time-lapse photographer, it doesn't get any better than this. If you like some more cool movies, you can check out this one and this one and you can subscribe to us down here.